Obviously, we've been hearing a lot about things, so I'm, I think it's not necessarily doing all that well. I don't think things are necessarily as bad as we sometimes hear, but I think they're definitely going downward somewhat. So. Um, that it's really bad. We have the worst economy in the nation, nation and um, we have the highest unemployment rate. It's very, very bad. So what the U.S. economy? I couldn't tell. I don't think it is, so... It seems to be not going as fast as it used to. You could just make a company just as easily as you wanted to, just by saying, hey, I have a website, now I have a business. Now it's much more difficult. People aren't as willing to buy as much, they're more stingy. I hear <laughs> that the current state is about to enter a recession. It's not doing well, right? That would be the answer. But, at the same time, I don't know. My stepdad still has a job. People still have jobs that I know. Not many people are getting fired right and left. And the people that I do know that lost jobs, recently got jobs. So it's hard to tell. I know that it depends on who you talk to as to what stage we're in, whether we're session or whether everything is just fine. Right now I know that the economy is kind of shaky and there are a lot of fears about a recession and that's still up in the air but I know that's definitely a fear of a lot of people. You don't want to ask me those questions because I don't know anything. <laughs> Um, I know the economy is not very good, especially in the housing market, or housing is really bad. A lot of people are not being able to pay back their housing loans, they're having their houses repossessed and things like that. I honestly do not know much about the current state of the U.S. economy. I know that minimum wage is going up and that's not necessarily a good thing because it affects the whole economy as a, as a whole, not just um, individual people who work. In, that, in those conditions, and it affects um, all social classes, so it's not necessarily a good thing, but other than that, I really don't know much, so. Help me head a week and more. Especially like they're talking, I live in Florida, so they're talking about the housing market slowing um, and that's causing a lot of problems with loans and stuff like that. So I think that that would be part of it and I also think we, uh, I think especially as Americans we spend a lot more than we necessarily have and we don't save money very well. And so now that we're struggling a little bit it's even worse. So. A uh, possible reason is that people aren't spending as much because they're worried about the economy, so they're not spending. Mm -hmm. And also, anything that has anything to do with a home mortgage plays into the recession. People aren't buying homes, so people can't sell their homes. A uh, possible reason for an upcoming recession would be to help boost the economy, to help um, make it better, because uh, I know that we're not doing very well at all in the stock market or other issues such as those and um, yeah, I think that's <laughs> what, <laughs> what would be <laughs> good. New president, create more jobs. Bring more businesses and back to Michigan. Definitely steel tariffs. It has to be those. I mean, the collapse of an industry in the United States must cause everything. 
a possible reason would be home loans and home equity. Banks are giving out loans and people aren't paying and they're foreclosing. Things of this nature are happening. I'm not really sure how that works necessarily. Only that home equity has something to do with it. Um, actually, I think our country is already in a state of recession because of the war and the general state of the economy. Um, I don't know, I think we're just going to go into a deeper recession that works the country comes back and gets stronger and our economy gets better. Um, well, I have a computer here. I can look it up on Google. Um, well, Wikipedia says that a recession is a downward trend in the rate of actual GDP growth, so maybe that's why? No, not really. Actually, I think that possible reasons would include basically that people aren't buying as much from the United States. We might not be exporting as much. We might not be producing as much. Um, any kind of, you know, major, like, disruption, any, like a new terrorist attack or something, that would definitely cause a recession again. Um, one reason that I've been hearing a lot about is the housing market. Obviously, um, there are a lot of foreclosed properties and mortgages, and that's not in good shape, so that's causing uh, consumers to spend a lot less, and it's affecting everything else. Um, so one market's affecting a wide, wide range of markets. Also probably rising costs of employment and things are just getting more expensive. Um, I guess generally a recession like would cause like a raise in prices and I mean that just means everything is going to get more expensive and that's just going to cause inflation and um, I don't know if I have to buy stuff, obviously it's going to affect me. So, yeah. If I stayed in Michigan, probably uh, my prospects for getting a job after graduation, May 17th, uh, but <laughs> perhaps um, the field I'm entering, there are so much turnover that finding a job probably wouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, it would definitely affect me personally because as I'm a, I'm a senior and I'll be look, you know, trying to look for a job next semester and if the economy's not very well, um, it'll be harder to find a job. Yes, create more jobs, more pay increase, more opportunities. I think an economic recession affects every person personally and I think the current state of our economy in Michigan, whether you want to say it's a recession or not, is affecting me personally in two ways. One, because we're one of those people who've had our home on market for over two years and are not able to sell it. And number two, because professionally students are leaving school because they can't afford to pay and the prospect of not getting a job or the recession that we're entering into is making them decide not to stay in school. Yes, an economic recession would affect me personally. It would affect the whole United States, everybody. Uh, how so? I, in my job, my career, in my wages, in uh, my tax refunds, possibly. I'm not exactly sure specifically how, but I know that it would. As far as affecting me personally, yeah. It probably would. Huh. I'd have to say. Um, as a college grad or graduating in May, I don't feel like it'll affect me personally from the aspect of um, I'll probably be able to get a job and function independently. Um, I might be affected by friends and family having problems, but me personally getting a job, I don't think that have a big impact. All the, all the things seem to affect everybody. If somebody buys a shoe in North Carolina, it will somehow come back to haunt me. Um, I hadn't really thought about it. You know, I mean, like, I'm sure it will because it's, um, you talk about, like, 
interest on like loan tuition and stuff like that. I'm sure it, it would definitely affect all of us, but I haven't really seen it affecting me very much yet, but it, I'm sure it definitely will matter in the long run. So. What he said.